Hello dear watch freaks and welcome back to my channel the Unbox aka the Watchbox and today we're gonna review another micro brand it's Marinus Samui it's a Doxa homage there is not so much Doxa homages out there so I'm really excited to show you guys how this watch looks and feels and is it worth it? I think so let's get on the table guys let's do this review to the Marinus Samui in orange aka Doxa sub 300 homage and there is not a lot Doxa homage out there I saw in our watch forum uh, in our German watch forum a tweet about uh, Marinus Samui which was the first edition which came out it was just on the silicon strap which is also included in this package and uh, I missed the opportunity to get one it was sold out within minutes so I saw the newer version it was around 400 USD it, it is 400 USD and they had for the Chinese New Year 20% off and but in the end with taxes I paid 350 euro so it's not all it's not the cheapest watch out there it's also made in China but the Marinus is yeah more like a micro brand but how you describe a micro brand in the end it's a uh, it is a brand like Zillow's doing limited editions with 100, 200, max 300 pieces and say okay that's out and we bring a new version with something different. So the summary is still on getting produced but it's sold out yeah, again. So if you want to have one you need to be very fast. It's like with the other companies like Helm, Boulder, Zillow's like I said so it is somewhere between our lovely Chinese brands some Martin Kronos etc and with the real micro brands from Singapore or somewhere else in the world so but let's get in the review and of this beautiful orange popping watch yeah so we start as always with the dimensions um, we have a case diameter of 42 millimeters, 42.4. The lock to lock distance is just, come on, no, no. So 45 millimeters. The height of the watch is almost typical to NH35, 13.8. The normal NH35 has always 13.5 and the lock width is just 20 millimeters. Sorry, yeah I measure now here on the last link so it's a little bit lesser. Nice dimensions in the end but I think the dial is just a little bit too small but that's just my personal uh, taste here. 
it could be a little bit bigger, but that's because of the two-sided bezel. So inside, like I said, we have the NH35, which you guys already know in and out. 21,600 feet per hour, 6 ticks per second, 41 hours of power reserve and my watch is running with look at the time grapher 0 2 minus 2 seconds a day but stop here this adjustment i have done myself the watch came with a beat arrow it was around one i think if i find the picture i put it right now in the video because i make a picture of that but I needed to adjust it because it was a little bit off and I think on the delivery it came in contact with somehow a magnetic file and that's a really bad thing if that happens to a watch. I don't think it's a mariner's problem. I really think that it got somehow in a contact with a magnet. The bezel, as you can see, it's not only a diving bezel, uh, it's also a GMT bezel and that's uh, really cool because you don't have a GMT movement inside so but in the bezel you have the 12 hour markers in the outer ring and inside you have the minute track the diving time so let's first hear the clicks it's 120 clicks zero backplay I give you more It's very, very nice and like I thought, uh, the sound of a metallic bezel is always a little bit different, but it sounds good. The grip is perfectly because of this bezel here, the finish, the holding here. The grip is really, really nice. And like I said, you have the GMT function in the end, so you can move the bezel to the hour index where it is and say, okay, here is 1 p.m. and there is 3 p.m. in somewhere where you want to time the zone anyway. A cool function to do the bezel in two different styles. So you have a diving and GMT. I think that's a really, really cool option. And I like that. It's a completely stainless steel bezel. The outer ring is within the bezel so it's it's the bezel itself and the inner ring is a uh, inlay uh, but, uh, in, uh, but still a stainless steel inlay so it will get scratched all the time I don't know how good or how long the printing will hold but I already saw some people in the forum which have printed the outer ring in orange to make it more like the dog's uh, you can do that if you have really, uh, yeah, um, a really silent hand and uh, you don't shake too much. So I think it looks really good on some photos, but if you lose the color in between these two bezels here, so the bezel and the inlay, there is a, a small gap, a small, small, uh, it's not a gap, but the transaction between those two. I think the color can get inside there and that's not so good. We have also a AR coating on the side, so you can read the type almost on every angle. But like I said, the bezel stands also a little bit more out, so you can't read it in every angle yeah that's not the point but you have an AR coating inside and it's not the bluish one it's also invisible one very very good the glass is a flat piece of sapphire crystal so let's do our test here perfect and the case finish is on top you have a wonderfully circular brushing over the case it's really really nice done the sides are polished on both sides so it's also uh, they it will get scratched anyway but uh, I think it's a more toolish watch uh, brush sides would fit in my opinion much better 
The crown is a screw down crown, of course, with two dolphins. I think they are. No, it's just two fish. And it looks wonderfully. The screwing in and out is just very smooth, very, very nice. The hand winding is good. The operation is very good. And there is no issues with that. Very, very good. The underside is also a screw down case bag with a diver as you can see then there is a number engraved there mariners and uh, hashtag 6335 so if it is the number of my watch which i guess let me see the warranty card ah yeah it's a serial number yeah see that so that's the 6335 one so it's not as limited like i said automatic 300 meter and a sapphire is written there the bracelet is a rice art bracelet so it's a solid end link solid links screw links here very very nice the clasp is a pressed glass but inner side milled with for micro adjustments and hold on hold on a proper divers extension and this looks really really good to be honest it's like you see it's a milled one the quality is very good no play almost here absolutely fantastic so if you really need that here you go the only issue i have some times with the bezel is it's uh, clapping inside here but you don't get the right feeling and it's a little bit hard to open it to be honest so i don't really know maybe the machining i think is very good but just on point so it's very very fixed i think it will get looser over the time so it will easier to access it but right now it's uh <laughs> it's really really not easy to open it yeah let me say that that way but overall this bracelet is very comfortable yeah, like a jubilee or my engineer strap as i have absolutely fantastic because the links are not as long as the oyster bracelet style absolutely fantastic i like the strap i like the case finish the bracelet also the inner links are all polished the outer sides are vertically brushed the clasp is brushed with mariners engravement and this completely side as like the case it's completely high polished so the look is absolutely fantastic because it's all going very well with the case and the bracelet so it fits very really really nice it's really perfect yeah 350 euros so we are almost like a san martin with a pd5000 yeah but it's a unique watch it's not a homage which you will see often even an original doxa you don't see an original doxa often because it's a very underrated watch i think i like the doxa but i thought why not get the homage and see how it works i like it to be honest yeah i like the orange i like the style but the dial is just too small for my taste if you compare it to the willard where you have an extremely may you see what i mean yeah it looks really small and it's not too small yeah i mean the lack to lack distance is almost the same just 44 to 40 42 but the difference is really really big so the dial this popping orange dial that looks <laughs> gorgeous it's a uh, enamel orange so it's not a uh, matte dial everything on the dial is 
printed. You have the hour indexes filled with a loom. They have a black outer lines. The minute track is in black. You have Mariner's automatic writing right under the 12. Over the 6, you have 300 meter, which stands for the water resistance. At 3 o'clock, the date window, which is also nicely framed. And the handset is exactly like a dock set. Also, they are pulled with C3 Superluminova. The only issue I have is the hour hand. Uh, not because it's too small, but <laughs> yeah, uh, to be honest, yeah, it's because it's too small, you have a lesser place to install a loom. So the loom on the hour hand gets faded as fastest and that's a little bit of pain but for diving it's not a big problem because for diving you use the minute hand and that lasts a long time till in the morning but the hour you can't read the hour in the morning anymore so time for carga score and let's do it the build quality is fantastic and Therefore, I give a 8 out of 10. The specification, let's do also 8 out of 10. The only issue I have is the movement. It's NH35 around 350 euro is really a lot, but you have a very nice bracelet clasp and finish. So it's a, it's a solid 8 out of 10. The look gets also a 8 out of 10. 10. It looks fantastic. I like it and it's like I said, you can't find it any day everywhere. The price of value also 8 out of 10 because you really get a solid watch with a solid bracelet, solid case and everything for 350 bucks. That's okay. So in total we have 32 of 40 points. That's a very, very nice point here. And like I said, the packaging on a micro brand is also important. You get a really nice watch bag, roll bag in leather. You got an extra silicon strap here, which you can see on my wrist shots. Also absolutely good strap here, stamped and handwritten warranty card and everything. A lot of spare spring bars and screws though that's really really a nice packaging and I appreciate that. So thanks for tuning in guys. I leave a link to Mariner's homepage because you can't find them on Ali or somewhere else so you need to wait there. It would be good if you want to have one. I think you should subscribe on their newsletter to get the information when it's wieder, when it's available again. But they are really yeah, nice in the communication. So you can write, write them and say, hey, I want to reserve one. And please, you can do the payment. And I think they will send out uh, when they have them back in stock. So that's not a problem with them. All right, guys, stay healthy. Take care. Your Carga!